Welcome back to another episode of the Giga Hub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that are important to us, but they may not be important to you. <laughs> I am one of three hosts, uh, Luis Delatore. I'm Adam Crin. I'm Daikaiju Tony. I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing? <laughs> Showing yeah, off our you don't off our Godzilla t-shirt. Oh, I should have worn don't. my Rodan t-shirt. Right, huh? That's that the only Godzilla t-shirt I. Have. That would have been good. Is the Rodan oh, yeah. t-shirt? You know, mm -hmm. Rodan is not Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not, but that's the only Godzilla theme shirt that I own. Oh, okay. Fair so, enough. fair enough. I also fair love enough. that movie. Uh, that's before, a good one. before we get started, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics. Right. The jewel of the Sierra Nevadas. No. The Mojave no, the Mojave Desert. Desert. I forgot. Sierra's we missed a week. Up north. We missed a week, and right. I forgot geographically <laughs> where I'm at. Right, right. Um, we have a wonderful assortment of comics, figures, uh, uh, apparel, board games, wonderful boxes such as... This is a comic, a short box. That is a short box for your comic books with Alien on the Xenomorph right there. It's called Big Chap. Big Ooh, Chap. Look no, at... this isn't the Big Chap. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, wait, can I see the front again? Right. Yeah, show them the front again. Let's see that. Oh, uh, yeah, it's wonderful. Not Big Chap. Beautiful. Look at Big that. Big Chap has a dome, and you right, can like, yeah. sort of see yeah. the eye sockets, I think. Right. I don't know. You can see the skull <laughs> underneath, kind of. Uh, we have posters. We have right. all manner of things. Comics, uh, of comics. Course. Oh yeah, there. I think there's comics around here somewhere. Let me look. But right. uh, yeah, there's comics <laughs> such as the beautiful comic that Tony is holding Godzilla, right there. Godzilla Half Century War. Which, by the way, I didn't know existed. I was looking through it before the show, Mo and that looks awesome. Most of the IDW stuff that they've done, mm -hmm. the IDW has done with Godzilla. Most of it is actually really, really that good. This the, is actually the best one that yeah. IDW has done. Yeah. That artwork yeah. looks amazing. There's like an old school like right. manga sort of quality to it. I, I love it. It looks great. Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, I also got some stuff. How about some piggy banks? Yeah, there you go. Yay. See, we're going to talk about Kong versus Godzilla in just a second, but look, they got this little... See, look. Let your imagination fly. You have a, a Godzilla bank, and we don't have a Kong bank, so you can make it fight the car from Batman 66. <laughs> right? So you just uh, make them fight. They can kiss. Um, you could put Godzilla in the car. <laughs> just, <laughs> I mean... I th I'm pretty sure an incredible thing action figure right. fits in here, so this should fit in here. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, yeah. there's that. Uh, make sure to come on down. Uh, give us a visit if if you're here. And uh, oh, look at that lovely statue! Look here, at this wonderful statue. Here is a wonderful cloak and dagger statue from old school Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful piece. This is actually one of my favorites of these gallery figures. It's like, a beautiful sculpt. It yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So come on down. Come see us. Look around. Spend some money if you're so inclined to do so. Uh, Spend it all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on down. Come on. Give us a visit. Right. Okay. <sighs> okay. Godzilla Let's versus get into Kong. Godzilla versus Kong. Uh, this movie came out not that long ago, right? Two like, days ago. Probably well, by the, the time you see by this, the time you see it'll this, it'll be like four, five, six days, five days. Yeah. Uh, uh, not just in theaters, but also on HBO Max. I always Max, get it confused. Yeah. With Joe. <laughs> HBO no. Max. I think that uh, was one point oh, and then now that's Max. <laughs> mm, which is where I saw it. I'm right. pretty sure you Me guys too. did the same. Unless I, Tony no, you went saw it to in theaters. Yeah, theaters. Yeah. Which okay, is yeah. which because he saw it in theaters. We're gonna let him lead the show because Luis and I really we we crapped out and stayed at home. <laughs> yeah, totally. I had so much to do. But with this. but the spooning with you was totally worth it. So I know it's so nice. It like, is just nice, under right? a blanket. Right. Like yeah. it's it's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> since since 2014, it has been tradition f for me to watch every MonsterVerse movie in a specific theater, Galaxy Theaters. And, wow. Yeah. You mm. even got a theater picked out. Mm -hmm. about do you, do you get all house. weird about, like, do you have a specific seat and someone's sitting there and you're like, that's my seat. <laughs> sir, <laughs> no, sir, you don't understand. That's my seat. <laughs> well, the seats are reserved. Right, but well, do you reserve the same one? Yeah, but that doesn't keep people from sitting in your seat. Oh, if, if that was the case, I'd tell the person <laughs> you, to get out. Do you mm -hmm. fight them? Yeah, I, I would. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, especially now that you picked up some moves from this movie, huh? Right. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Just get a plus one axe of kaiju smiting. Right, right. We'll get into that. All yeah, right, we'll get so, into it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. So uh, Tony's going to take the lead on this one. Okay. Um, so yeah. yeah. I jotted Back down to you, Tony. Yeah. I jotted down my notes. He's uh, got some notes. I have some notes as well. But yep. We'll get to them as we get to if, them. If we have any matching notes, uh, you could like jump in if you want. I don't take notes because I'm not a nerd. <laughs> which, is a, which is a not, which is a lie. I'm I've a total seen it nerd. I just, four times so far. You've so. seen it four times? Yeah. 
You've seen this in movie the last two days? Four times? Yeah. Really? Two days? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I mean... Yeah. I could barely watch it once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so want to go over positives first and negatives? Let's go over negatives. You want to go negative? Yeah. Ne- let's, listen, negative, yeah, let's do negatives I think, first. I think negatives, negatives are the fun part. Can we just, just, go, we just we yeah. zip well, through positives and do negatives? Justice League, we started positive and went kind of really negative. So mm. let's, let's reverse that. Let's do okay. the negatives okay. first. Okay. Yeah, let's do the negatives All right, first. so... Uh, the main character following Kong's side of the story, Nathan, he was a dummy for f- obviously falling for the <laughs> evil CEO of Apex, uh, Walter Simmons, since <laughs> his plan was obviously evil from the get-go. He was... <laughs> right, it was obviously evil. I like that. He, he's, yeah, 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 well, he was basically Doctor Who from King Kong Escapes because right, yeah. of the whole plot that's of right. trying to get a resource underground. Right, yeah, that's right. Yeah, We, we yeah. broke a cardinal rule. We talked a little bit. About it, and rem- I, I did say that today. Yeah, Doctor I was who, like, yeah. you know, we've been great, Doctor, Doctor Who. Doctor Who, yeah, that's and, right. And for those of you who are not aware, I don't mean like Doctor Who, like the BBC show Doctor right. Who. Uh, I mean King, Doctor Who. King Kong's Escapes has King a Kong character Escapes. named Doctor Who, and he looks like an evil genius slash vampire. Yeah, yes, he has he's, a cape. He's awesome. And yeah. he, has a, he, he has a gun. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> he looks like he could be a doctor. Right. Yeah. He might be a Time Lord. <laughs> he might be a Time who Lord. Who knows? Yeah. All right. Um, Ren Serizawa. He could right. Yeah. yeah right. Okay. So he plays the pilot, right? Yeah, he's the oh, pilot. Supposed to be a pilot. Right. He could have been literally any other character, like since <laughs> right, yeah. the name Serzawa is brought up once, I believe. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 I. Yeah. You clearly hear him called Sawazawa like once or twice, and it's in the same scene, I think. Yeah. And other than that, you don't even know. Like I had forgotten you told me that until he said his name. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, is, no, this, uh, the par- no is this the part? Is this the guy who was played by um, uh, what's his name from the first Godzilla movies, or is it or who? who no, this is about? supposed to be his son. Oh, okay. Ken, right, right. Ken Watanabe's son. Right, right, right. So here's the thing: I, I, I dislike the Godzilla movies so much <laughs> that like I totally like all of them or just the no, legendary all, monster. No, books? the legendary, the legendary stuff. No, not not the old stuff. Okay. The legendary stuff. So like this. Was a reference that was lost on me. I think I, I didn't think I put it together till now okay. that that's who he was. But well, like I don't have like stuff memorized from this movie that I could be like, oh, that's his son. That's cool. Now, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but mm-hmm. that is kind of your point. It is lost on everyone. Yeah. <laughs> like it didn't have any bearing on anything in this movie. Yeah, it's only um, it, it, the movie would have been fine without him. Would you say? Yeah, or like if it was a, just another person, not Serizawa. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so. right. yeah. Yeah. Yep, I agree. God. Okay. What's uh, next? What you got next? All right. As someone who studied anthropology 101, I'm pretty sure <laughs> the sign language that worked on Coco wouldn't easily work on King Kong. Why? Yeah. Huh? He's not a real gorilla. I don't see why he can't. His brain him. is this big. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, but why? I'm interested. Okay. I am interested. Yeah. Yeah. So for those who don't know, Coco is a late gorilla who right. Right. practically S- mastered sign language. Right. So sad. And over ten thousand, I think, words and phrases. Oh, yep, she was beautiful. By the way, like if you watch videos, like old videos of her, like you can't she not cry. She was so sad. Yeah, she was such a. Oh, she yeah. was sad because like Kong, sad, yeah. she just wanted to go home. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. And but, the kitty like, cat died, and that was a whole with, thing. Okay, with the subtitles that the deaf girl gives to uh, Kong, like that specific dialect wouldn't exactly work unless Kong had way more experience with the Iwi people. And from what we know in the movie, they're all practically dead, <laughs> except for that little girl. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is true. the fantasy race of people that live on Skull Island? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The ones that took care of uh, the pilots, John the C. Riley. Riley. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just, yeah, okay. Just her. She's the only one left, apparently. Mm-hmm. I, I honestly... I mean, I, I'm sure what you said makes logical sense. I didn't take anthropology, so I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, that makes total sense. I did. I just, at that point, I just didn't even consider but, that. I was just like, like, past that. Like, but okay. I, honestly, I thought that part was like probably one of the, the better parts of the movie when he was like, home. I don't know how to do home. I forgot how to do home. Is it like, mm, yeah, like something it, like yeah. that. Um, and I was just like, oh, it's like Coco. That was the first thing I thought was like Coco, Coco the gorilla. Coco. I'm like, oh. I mean, I like the part of Kong scratch his butt. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. Where he kind of wakes up in the morning, he's like, Arr. Yeah. Okay. Right. What All you right. got next? Uh, <clears throat> All right. Uh, okay, so the whole plot thread on Kong's side of the story is basically Kong has to go to the Hollow Earth to recover 
this resource and well okay we're practically talking about spoilers at this point right oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah this yeah. let it be known that yeah when yeah. we talk a, about stuff like this, this is there's a review gonna be spoilers. slash deep dive right. yeah. yeah yeah this resource that apex uh needs to power up mechagodzilla basically but yeah. It turns out they don't actually need the resource. They need the data in it. Yeah, they needed the sig- They had to match the signal so they could power. I yeah, I didn't get that. So you're this is it's very Star Trek: The Next Generation. So they did okay. Where it's like they didn't need the actual energy. They just needed the signature wave that the energy could produce, mm. so that they could recreate that signal wave. That made more sense to me. That makes more sense. No, to me. it doesn't. And here's why. Well, well, no, because Mecha Godzilla or not Mecha Godzilla. King Ghidorah was not even from Earth. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, why? Why would what? anything on Earth match his what? energy signal to? I don't know. When I say that makes sense to me. <laughs> I mean, I, like I don't know. There was a part where, like, they the little robot, I guess, found the stuff, right? The the energy I've, source, right? Oh, right. right. Yeah. And then scanned it, and then once it did that, like, it powered up Mecha Godzilla, or it, it did well, whatever no, they it wanted didn't. it to do. They were able to mimic the energy right. signal, not the energy itself. Okay, that's not the point. Okay, the point is, it did that. It scanned it, and right. then they were able to do whatever they were going to do. Right. Which I lost track a lot of in this movie because a lot of it was like, Ugh. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, so like, I'm just like, how did they do? That? How did One this moment. robot from here do that? We do understand. So that, that this makes is a movie sense. about giant monsters fighting. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll yeah. get there. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll all, all, I was just wondering how that happened. Like, how did? How did? Okay, so they were basically reproducing the sort of wavelength signal. Yeah, right. To, to get this sort of energy. N- now that you guys are saying it, I'm understanding. That's what oh, I'm saying. Okay. So I'm like, this thing scanned it, nah. and now they have the energy they need? I don't get w- how this happened. Right. N- I see now what, you, what you're saying. I see right. now how it works. Okay. I okay. think I was lost in a lot of what was it going on in this movie. It didn't make much sense yeah. anyway, but go ahead. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Back to you, Tony. Okay, the entrance to the Hollow Earth. <laughs> it's literally the portal from the Super Marlboros movie. <laughs> Not to mention, like you said... Why did they need King Kong to get there? Yeah, because Kong well, didn't know where it was. Those, those tunnels were... <laughs> they were big enough for Kong to literally swing through. How could they not find this place? Let me Let me put it into context. They're, well, they're looking for this world yeah. called the Hollow, the hollow, the hollow Earth. Earth. Which, believe it or not, there's a whole theory, like conspiracy theory with that stuff, by the way. Right. Yeah, there's a whole thing. So they, they brought... Multiple different offshoots of the belief system right yeah. right yeah it's amazing so, which i was like oh should we be like glorifying this could we call it something <laughs> else <laughs> um the rushing ne- the russian nesting doll earth or something i don't know um babushka or babushka, 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 earth. babushka earth. um so uh, so like the, the idea is kong is supposed to lead them, know, lead yeah, them lead to them. this world because he knows how to get home yeah apparently even though he was raised on skull island yeah and so he goes and he doesn't like f- he doesn't know where it is they don't give him tools to like right. dig to it he's not like it's right there <laughs> guys it's right here he f- he, just he just swings just... around until he falls into a hole yeah and that's a, how a, they find a very it. large hole so i'm like how did you guys not find the hole Right. How did you guys not find this giant swirling vortex? Well, here's the thing. They, they're, um, in the beginning, they explained that their last attempts on getting in led to uh, them getting blown up because of the yeah. Howard's uh, gravity system. And right. that, that's we- another thing I'm going to comment on later. <laughs> <Yeah>. And <laughs> they just assumed that Kong... Kong seemed okay. Yeah, yeah, they just assumed that Kong would make it in one piece to the Hollow Earth. <laughs> well, he could yeah. straight up die at the end of movie. <laughs> well, they should have had him get a little faint so they could use Mechanic Kong. <laughs> Mickey, yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyway, anyway. Okay, so just use his skull to make mechanic on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so my problem with like how the Hollow Earth's gravity works in this movie. Okay, so the Hollow Earth, the gravity is inverted, right? Well, yeah. there's well, a, right. there, inverted, there's a point where it inverts. Yeah. So when Godzilla shot a hole in Hong Kong all the way to the Hollow Earth, it shouldn't <laughs> have gone from the ceiling. It should have gone from the bottom, and then Kong would have jumped to that hole and then ended up in Hong Kong. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. It was. Kind of like that theory of being uh, able to dig to China when you were a kid. Right, <laughs> Do you yeah, remember that? Like, yeah, where if you just if you dig straight down, yeah. straight down deep enough, you'll get. You get it's to kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Regarding the Hollow Earth, I mean that's 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 good. I wouldn't have thought of that, but I, I mean that's a good point. You, I thought, you think they would have put more research into something like that? Yeah. <laughs> I liked that the Hollow Earth was weird and funky. Yeah. Um, it didn't make sense that it was so thin. <laughs> that was a little weird. Mm-hmm. Um, because presumably, if it was, if if there was land on the inside, mm-hmm. right? Um, 
and gravity was inverted, which it would be because it would be pulling outward because there's no mass in the center, presumably. <laughs> right. I, I didn't understand why it was like, I don't know, a couple hundred feet high <laughs> and it was like flat. <laughs> like, I didn't get that. Like, I didn't, it didn't no. make any sense. <laughs> I don't know. Here's where we get to it the... It was end. cool and weird. Since I didn't mind that. We're so like much. all the way almost in the end of the movie right now. So since we're here, uh, yeah. since we're here... At least halfway through. There yeah. is the part, so Kong gets there. And he has to fight these uh, the monsters that are there. Like he just fights. Oh, these, the like, warbats. Yeah, the the flying. Mo- which are you going to cool. go there? Or? Uh, I have no problem with the warbats. Yeah. Like I thought they were cool looking monsters. Well, I didn't want him to jump here. Well, I figured since we were oh, already I'm, I'm here, still in this like section of the just, movie. In yeah. Okay. So he gets there. He fights the bats. Does whatever, right? The zoo uh, bats. Yeah. So then he starts walking away, and then like these little creatures just start crawling out. And then this monster just kind of comes from off screen and eats him, eats one, <laughs> and then just kind of looks at, it looks like he looks <laughs> into the camera, and I'm like, is that supposed to be Anguirus? That's where I was like, is that supposed to be Anguirus? Because he looked, like he looked hey, into the camera, bit. and he was like, wink. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not legally, but you know me. You know who I am. You know who I am. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. If you watch Godzilla at all, you'll know yeah, who that yeah. is. If not, this is probably lost on you. But <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. I, all right, I which, yeah. what you got next? Or are um, we, are we still going with this? How basically the Hollow Earth is basically well for Kong's. Uh, well, like when Kong, when Kong enters right. the quote unquote palace, and I'm like, wait, the, the, these these okay. So you're telling me that these monkeys were smart enough to build a throne to build a seat stairs. Yeah, sure. <laughs> And all that, and they won't—they're not able to talk. Yeah, you know, like if they're that—if they're that smart, they should be able to do linguistic capabilities. Yeah, I didn't get that. I think that's when the movie honestly really lost me. Like it was forty minutes of pretty boring movie mm. that had a pretty awesome fight scene, and then we kind of the plot started actually moving along. Yeah. yeah, and then then they got to the palace, and I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> like what? I and think, he, and he just plops <laughs> his ass down like he belongs there, right? I, I was like, he was probably just tired. I, just like, yeah, maybe, maybe. I think yeah. there's supposed to be this prolific <laughs> moment because even yeah. in, even in the first movie, they call him Kong. They don't call him King Kong. Right. They call him Kong. In this one, they call him Kong. Yeah, and I actually and I th- missed that. So yeah, I think he was su- right. He's supposed to sit on this well, throne with his ar- his axe, and now he's King Kong. Now he's the king. Well, which seems st- is still pretty stupid. Stupid. Yeah. yeah. Well, in Kong Skull Island, like the soundtrack list, the final track, actually no, the second to last track of Kong Skull Island is called King Kong. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. but that's about it. Are you sure? Is is it not? Uh, Can't wait to be king by Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> Or whoever sings that part in the Lion King. I can't King. wait to be here. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, back, back. I, that, the palace thing is where it started to lose me. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, okay, well. It was like 30 minutes of movie left from then on or something. <laughs> hey, please con- probably continue. Like 40 minutes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so when um, Bernie, Joss, and Madison sneak into Apex and they get, they get, they get into the carrier that's car- carrying all the skull crawler eggs and right. they get shot from... Shoot, I forgot what it is. So they got shot from Pensacola, Florida, and Florida they're suddenly in Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. Okay, if it was that fast, what? <laughs> if yeah. it was that fast and there was no seats or anything, how are they in one piece? <laughs> how how are they not like splattered all over the cargo? What, is, what it said Hong Kong, and then they're suddenly there. That's that's when I was like, wait, what? Like I I could <laughs> like, get the idea that they made technology uh, that that goes so fast right. that it's easily accessible, but how are you still alive? <laughs> I, I just I don't know. Well, honestly, at least they didn't try to explain that one too much because that the problem with a lot of the other scenes is they try to it's like and that's my problem with a lot of modern movies honestly in general where the movie's dumb and there's dumb concepts i get that it's giant monsters fighting but then they make it a point to try to explain certain things and i'm like oh you should you should have left it vague honestly i mean at this point you should have just not said anything i think it was just a thinly veiled reason to right to be shot in china yeah. yeah, honestly. Well, that's fine, but they could have no, had no, them all it, start in China. That, no, yeah. that's I, I don't mind them shooting in China. I, I just what I like. There's no reason for them to be in this thing that's like, oh, we're going from Fort Lauderdale to China or whatever. It's like, yeah, well, okay, we have, we have Pensacola. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah why? Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. why? Give them. Give, how about giving them a good reason to go to China, sure, exactly. right? Like, like not. Or like, just maybe they're in China. Maybe the dad's working in China. Yeah. yeah. And what's his name's in a freaking exchange student, or maybe who Madison? knows? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, who but like, cares, speaking but... of bad signs, oh, these monsters' radiation is helping the environment. <laughs> what? what? That was from the last movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and okay. <laughs> what you got next? And my last complaint with the movie is. Lance Reddick, he's in the movie. But for, he, t- for a minute. Yes. For a minute. Less than a minute. Who? 
Lance Reddick. Who's he, that? He's in John Wick 3. I don't know. He's the he very serious... Ah, oh, man, I have to show you a picture of this guy. But, okay. This guy right here. He's in Fringe. He's in John Wick. I, yeah, I don't have a slideshow for this show, by the way, because if anybody knows Toho, they are... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like that dude. Yeah. He, he has... Toho he's a is very deep voice. Toho is yeah. very, like, copyright infringement. He's in the movie for, like, so. about 30 seconds. Yeah. Only has one line of dialogue. Yeah, he yells yeah. one command, and that was it. And I'm like, what is the... Yeah, I saw him, and I'm like, did I miss well, him in the rest of this movie? And he was only in like, it for, like, 10 seconds. After, after King of the Monsters did so poorly, mm-hmm. which I know... You know, I, I know a lot of people that just love that movie and, oh, it was so awesome. But when you look at the box office numbers, the movie did not do well. Pacific mm. Rim did better than King of the Monsters. Yeah. <laughs> Which and one? Pacific, Pacific Rim. Rim, and oh, that movie man. didn't do that well either. Mm. Um, and, um, you know, and I know because King Kong, or this movie, Kong vs. Godzilla, was, or Godzilla vs. Kong, was primarily already shot. They actually went and reshot a whole bunch of things. So this whole movie's been retooled. Mm-hmm. So I have no doubt he probably had a much larger part. As mm-hmm. did probably Madison's character. Or, uh, and all, it just and all seems odd movies. that they would include him in there even for a few seconds. You still have to pay the guy. Because this, yeah. movie was you know, clear, like... this movie was clearly a... Well, he's already been paid. That's the thing. Uh, um, but now he has a speaking part, so he gets residuals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah um, like... But, uh, well, maybe they don't like him. I mean, I got nothing against the guy getting residuals. I'm just saying, right. like, it seems... If you're just not, if you're just going to cut him out, right. it, it, it doesn't seem cost-effective to leave him in there for a few seconds. Yeah, that's true, too. And yeah. have to pay him residuals. But right. uh, this movie was very Kong-centric. I mean, Godzilla yeah. was a... Kong was the leading yeah. <laughs> protagonist monster. Yes, he was. Absolutely, mm-hmm. yeah. This isn't... Godzilla movie. This is a Kong movie with Godzilla. Yep, and I'm all good with that. (laughs) (laughs) Played by a noted character actor, John Malkovich. I don't know if you knew that. He did play Kong. Uh, I I thought I heard whispers. (laughs) Uh, Is that 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 it for the negatives? I put on the monkey suit, and I just went monkey, and that was how I did it. (laughs) <laughs> and that's how I did it. It's my best Malkovich. I'm wow. sorry. Wow. Okay. That's, um, <laughs> not a, I didn't say it was good. I said it was my best Malkovich. Um, you know, I think... Yeah, as far as... Uh, before we get on to anything positive, I just... I don't know what to think. I didn't like it, and I wanted to like it. And, mm. I, and I tried to, you know, keep reminding myself, this is about giant monsters fighting, yeah. but just so many dumb things. Mm. Like, At a certain point, I liked it. Like, and then my face was like... Yeah. All throughout the third act. You, yeah, you, uh, yeah. You went, you went, you, like, the notes, correct. Everything you said is correct. Right, yeah. I think there's still a lot of neg- t- negative stuff we want to talk about this movie, and that is that, like, M- Millie Bobby Brown's character, like, her whole B storyline in this movie seemed why pretty are useless. You here? Yeah, yeah they, they, there was, it was no a very reason why are for you it. here thing, yeah. Yeah, like, because she's a big fan of that conspiracy theorist character. Oh well, that's the thing, is, like, the, the whole thing. Like what Brian Tyree Henry? He was yeah. brilliant. He's the guy who yeah, plays the part. He was yeah, good. He was like good. he was good in that part. Yeah. But like there is no reason for him as a character to be there. There's no real reason for her to be there. Well, like it just seems like that whole storyline, the I whole story plot, feels like little kids in a camera movie. I think that <laughs> pl- yeah yeah. I think that plot was cut up so much mm-hmm. that. Honestly, it hurt because you didn't you didn't get enough of them to ever care about them. Not to say that you might have cared about them anyway. Mm, yeah. But at some point, as a filmmaker, when you when you're constructing a narrative, that's a gamble. <laughs> it's either going to work or it's not. But I think they cut out so much of that that it didn't have a chance. It didn't have a chance to work. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you only got these snippets of what they were doing and what they were going through. Mm-hmm. Um, um, before I state a few negatives did you have anything you wanted to say uh, no go, we had a lot of the same negatives right. so i'll just comment on um, yours go ahead um i think <laughs> a movie about big monsters fighting i think works better when you when you don't necessarily explain everything and I, i'll give you an example um well let me talk about one thing first and this is pure story wise and this is a big spoiler right Poor King Kong was not on any kind of even ground with Godzilla. Oh, no. He just no, 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 flat no, 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 out no. got owned no. repeatedly. I yeah. mean, he did do a couple good blows to Godzilla well, by yes. like, axing him in the yes. leg. But the only good lick he got in, he didn't even do. It was because of the stupid axe that Godzilla was blowing his breath into that absorbed it, apparently. Mm-hmm. And even that, all it did was kind of knock Godzilla back. He shook his head and just... And and at that point, he came after Kong and just effed him up, to be quite honest. <laughs> sure, yeah. It literally <laughs> killed him. Right. Which, to be fair, happened in the original. So Godzilla so, killed King Kong. Right. Or, was, or he was dying. And then in the original one, for no effing reason, lightning, 
he's back alive, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's dumb, but let's go with it, right? But sure. in this, they go through the whole we're going to jumpstart his heart thing. Like, Basically like, deliberate him. Yeah, <laughs> and now it's like, why? And well, there's another part of that that bothers me too, but it'll, it'll come together later in the movie. Um, I just was like, why? I mean, <laughs> I didn't like, I, I really, I didn't like how just... Kong just got owned, man. There was no even ground. Now, on the ships, I get it. When they were yeah. fighting in the sea, that makes sense. Kong, that's that's Godzilla's Yeah, that's Godzilla's yeah. territory. He can't... It's like fighting a man fighting a shark. You're not going to take him there. Yeah. Right. You know, and Godzilla's amphibian, so you would think on the land, King Kong would have the advantage. No! Yeah. No, man. Holy crap. That poor gorilla got his ass handed to him. Yeah. Yeah, a the, bunch. Uh, the the deliberator scene could have been done faster instead of explaining. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, we could say like, oh, the ship still has this much power now. We can still use it. Right. That, yeah. That, just that, just that's do what it. Done. Yeah. Just do it. Instead, they had to do the whole thing and blah blah blah. But I'll get. Uh, there's another part in why that bothered me. But yeah, poor Kong just didn't stand a chance. So like, I was, he I, just <laughs> didn't stand a chance. So this is one of the things we talked about a little bit. Is right. like. There is this sort of logic that that professional wrestling uses, <laughs> yeah, yeah, which yeah. is that like he's made which, to look weak, weak, right? So you, if you want Kong to look strong, right? So the first battle they get into, uh, Godzilla beats Kong, right. right? You want Kong to be able to look like it, he could possibly beat Godzilla hand to hand, right? Right. On uneven ground, and it kind of seemed that way. So maybe but the ground wasn't even, right? Right. So like maybe like Godzilla, maybe you could say something like, "Well, King Kong could have won, but they were at sea. Right. That's where Godzilla shines because right. he can swim. That's his thing, right? Yeah. So that in that way, you can say you don't have to destroy the illusion that right. King Kong sucks. Right. You can just and, be like, and "Well, that fight, and that fight was pretty bad. That fight was cool. <laughs> that fight was cool. Yeah. So yeah. you could say like, "Ah, he lost, but you know what? Because they were in the water. They were in the water. Godzilla's right. not a swimmer. Right. Fine. Or King Kong's not a swimmer. Or King Kong's not a swimmer." Right. As the movie goes and goes, he just does not do anything to make King Kong look strong. Right. No, they give him they it give does. him an axe that does nothing. That basically just knocks Kong or knocks Godzilla on his butt, and that's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. Knock, knocked him down. Yeah, like there was <laughs> he no, got right back up. And then the axe lost its power. Right. And then it couldn't. It wasn't an axe anymore. Then, like I don't understand. And then Godzilla just trashed poor Kong yeah. all around Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah. for like, like three solid minutes. Yep. Right. <laughs> yeah. So duking his atom bros like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I still didn't understand really why they were fighting. Yeah. There was no there like the, whatever explanation they gave was oh, like I unbelievable. A, and then it was just dumb. And then we're introduced. Well, we saw it, but we're introduced to basically King Ghidorah's skull for some reason. Yeah. Uh, and then, well, here's the thing. Suddenly, uh-huh. <laughs> they get power to Mechagodzilla, right? Like, oh, we got it. It's good to go. And then the skull. And they never even really got into that, which is what you're going to talk about, right? Oh yeah. Well, actually, uh, I missed out on one other. I think I skipped out on this. Point go ahead and do that. I, I got one more thing it? after that, real okay. quick. So go ahead. Um, basically, okay. So God, the reason why Godzilla is quote unquote bad is because he's been destroying the Apex factories because they're building Mecha Godzilla. Right. Mm. Specifically, Par- apparently. Specifically, that's just, actually what I was gonna bring up yeah, too. Yeah. Specifically, just the Apex f- factories. And Mark Russell is like, oh, we don't know why Godzilla's turning on us. Uh, maybe put two and two and together and like investigate why he's attacking the Apex factories. Well, well that's the thing is it, least, his daughter figured it out. Yeah. The the podcast guy figured it out. Like he's only attacking Apex. There's got to be a reason for it. And it's just like, no, he's just a dumb He's dinosaur. just a dumb monster. He's hurting us. Yeah. He's hurting people. I'm really stressed out, sweetheart. <laughs> like, uh, oh my gosh. Um, Madison, call me. It's your father. It's your t- <laughs> I used to have a much bigger part in this film, but they cut me out because I didn't test well in the last film. I feel like I feel like he's so forgotten that he needs yeah. to. Every time he's on, it's like it's me, your guy. dad. That poor guy. Yeah, it's me, your dad. Remember, <laughs> remember me? I was in the movie <laughs> an hour and a half ago for two minutes. <laughs> well, I remember there was um, yeah, 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 one of the yeah. reasons they gave that he was attacking like the apex. Um, factories or whatever buildings or what have you was uh what's her face millie bobby brown's character i didn't madison catch her. madison she made some comment like well they're he's attacking them because they're they're replacing him with mega godzilla or the mega godzilla is here to like take his place or something like that yeah, like yeah. which kind of yeah was their plan like oh no we're not gonna have some sentient beast be our protector right yep but it's like <laughs> So Godzilla was like the, the the robots are taking our jobs. So like I'm just gonna take the factory. I'm gonna take down. the robot I'm out. Take the robot out. Like, 
What? <laughs> I pictured an entire scene in my head where he sits in a recliner with a beer, like complaining to his wife. I'm telling you, Mitch, these mecha robots are taking our jobs. They're taking our jobs. They're taking our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, man. Uh, there, I, there's a lot of like very thinly veiled story I, th- that connects a lot of stuff, I which mean, doesn't make a lot of sense. That's okay, but it gets so inconsistent, I, and that's where it loses right. me. There's that, there's that, there's that wannabe writer in me that that's where it starts to lose me. It's like these narrative inconsistencies. Like Godzilla starts out feeding off radioactive beasts, and he's not them; he's something else because he sort of. You know, creatures like him are why the Earth is no longer radioactive. Okay, I can buy into that, right? But now he's just flat out like, is that Kong poop I smell? I'm after him. <laughs> like, wait, what? Why? <laughs> like, what? he does the same thing. That is literally Kong's Could, thing. Well, well, I remember right? there was like a throwaway line that yeah. like their ancestors have been fighting for centuries. Which we don't get to see. <sighs> yeah. But even that, it's just like, you know, predators fight when they intrude on each other's territory. Mm-hmm. Is the whole Earth their territory? I mean, I don't care how big Godzilla or King Kong is. That's a lot of territory, even sure, for something yeah. that size. You can't split territory. I just, yeah, and, and the whole thing where he's hidden on Skull Island, like, if we let him out, Godzilla will come for How do you know that? <laughs> Did he come for him before? Yeah, like, they didn't. Oh, yeah. They didn't, well, okay, and they didn't get into that. Another problem that I kind of forgot to mention. All In right. the opening credits, they mentioned, like, Pretty much all the monsters yeah, are they, dead. They, yeah, they do, 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 do yeah, until like, there's so wait, two I'm left. Thinking, wait, did Godzilla kill all the other monsters? Because Apparently, because <laughs> they didn't have the budget to show all the titans yeah, that they showed at the end of the last movie. A lot of stuff happened before the movie started, <laughs> right. which yeah. probably should have warranted a whole other movie, I feel. Because, uh, yeah, like, yeah, I Kong wakes up and he's inside of a, just, of a, a football stadium with, like, a hologram yeah. of a jungle. And I'm just yeah. like... How did he get here? Did I miss some oh, part expl- of this movie? Kong, Kong on Truman was, Island. Skull Island was destroyed by <laughs> the storm, basically. Yeah. Okay. Kong well, on Truman here's Island. Here's the thing. As I feel like that's something you should show us and yeah. not just mention it's it. It's like we missed a movie. It's like Professor yeah, Hulk. Yeah, I thought I missed something Professor somewhere. Hulk in Infinity War. It's like, wait, what happened to the Hulk movie that explained how he got from there to here? Exactly. Like, where did yeah. that movie go? Yeah, yeah. five years went by, yeah. we couldn't have a, a Gray Hulk movie <laughs> You're or right. a... Yeah. Mr. Fix yeah, It. This, Mr. Movie, Fix this movie, movie does yeah. take place five years after the events of King yeah. of the Monsters. Yeah. I just, I don't know. It's like, of course, and we've talked about this, and we've talked about this. It's mm-hmm. like, I, I don't mind King Kong or Godzilla as a villain, but it just didn't make sense. It's just like, he's just, all of a sudden, he's hyper aggressive. Well, he, Not aggressive. He, well, Hi, he's more aggressive than he was in the last movie. Well, there's a difference. Which apparently he was yeah. satisfied when they just bowed to him, which, yeah. by, by the way, for the record, that was the dumbest freaking scene, I think, in any Godzilla mm. movie ever. But anyway, he was okay with that. But mm. now he's like, no, I got to put him down. <laughs> I got to put all monsters well, down, here's all competition. Thing. There's a difference between a villain and just, just an antagonist. There's just something a, just, just so an cold an and a-hole. clinical about an antagonist. Yeah. Like it's just like he you're was, you're the good you're right. guy, you're the bad guy. Now you fight. He Instead of he had no re, it didn't yeah. seem like he had a purpose. He had, he was less than one dimensional in this movie. Yeah, I, you actually, yeah. I think you hit the nail on the head. Godzilla was just he was just a a protagonist for the sake of having a protagonist in his own movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my assumption is that yeah. he probably sensed that they were using Ghidorah's head and. Well, and that's fine because that's been done before, but they never really got into any of that. You know what I mean? Because that's that was the whole point of uh, Godzilla against Megaguirus. Really? Was yeah. Was he kept attacking power sources and they didn't understand why? That's what they were trying to. But oh, then they yeah. found out that the 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 science minister was hiding that information from the rest of the from certain facets of the government. Yeah. Specifically, the people that were hired to fight Godzilla. <laughs> they they didn't understand why this kept happening. And then he's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, we were building this uh, you know nuclear reactor for." Uh, you know, different kind of power sources because Japan's, you know, suffering. And the, and the lady's just like, you're an idiot. <laughs> like, no wonder he keeps attacking us. Yeah. Like, You moron? <laughs> you moron, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, any any more negative? I mean, this um, whole movie well, is pretty much a negative almost. But Ghidorah's th- skull just suddenly exudes control over Mechagodzilla. Like, there was I'm no... I'm fine with that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that, but there was literally no lead up. Yeah. And, I, I think it and may, especially I, when mm-hmm. he it was hinted that... Ghidorah is this super regenerator, which yeah. was really Godzilla's sort of shtick from Millennium. Yeah. But anyway, he's a super regenerator, but now he's just the skull. <laughs> like, what happened? Yeah, where's the rest of it? <laughs> well, well, I thought he was a super regenerator. I, I was just going to say, like, I think <laughs> yeah. this is some, I thought it was a nod to, which one was it? S- SOS or? 
this one would where, where kind of, uh, remember what Kiryu was the, of, the yeah, was built of along the skeleton of Godzilla. The original Godzilla. Which one was it? Uh, that's against that's, against, yeah. against Mecha Godzilla. Against Mecha Godzilla, right? I th- I I was I was sure that that that's what they were going I for. I think that was part of it. Yeah. yeah. I but think, it just I think they're going for a mix of that and Godzilla versus King Ghidorah just right. for the idea of right, Mecha right, right. King Ghidorah. Which, by the way, do yourself a favor, watch. Tokyo SOS oh. and against Mechagodzilla. Against Mechagodzilla and then Mexico, Tokyo like, SOS. Against, yeah. against Mechagodzilla is like one of the best movies ever made. Oh, yeah. To yeah. the point of where it's the, this design is used in this comic. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, the no, it's the number three greatest Godzilla movie ever made. Well, number four now, I guess. Na- Shin Godzilla. There's mm. Godzilla 1954. Yeah. Shin, Shin Godzilla, which is awful close. And then GMK. <laughs> right. Which, which is an amazing film. And against Mechagodzilla. Against Mechagodzilla. Yeah. yeah. And right. then Tokyo SOS. No, I don't know if uh, that one's that good. It's good. It's a good sequel. It. Yeah. It's just not as good as the. But it's not as good yeah. as the yeah, against. Um, any more? Any more negatives? But just well, I just wanted to finish up and oh, say, go ahead. Um, yeah. just that skull thing, and then it, it was just there was no lead up. It was just suddenly like pow. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're going there. Okay. <laughs> the way sure. Saw, yeah. Why not? <laughs> the way I saw it, I'm like, yeah, and this then, is this is a recipe for disaster. Like you know, you know that something's right. gonna go wrong with right. the skull. But there was, I don't think there was enough narrative foreshadowing for that. You know what I mean? It was just kind of there, and then it took over. <laughs> One way they could have done that. I mean, we that knew was... it was going to happen. I know, yeah. I knew it was going to happen, mm-hmm. but there was just no. One did one. One way they could have foreshadowed that is like, oh, we're experimenting with um, psychic link technology. So, yeah, yeah, they something. could just one line of dialogue could have worked. Yeah. All right. Well, once he exudes control, he just kills everybody. <laughs> yeah. He kills all the bad humans, I guess, for lack of a better term. Not that they're really evil. They're just. <laughs> They're Idiot. just, yeah. yeah. Um, but, um, so, this brings me to my point. So, they bring Kong, Kong back from the dead, apparently. Godzilla's getting trashed by Mecha Godzilla. Um, Which is how it should be. Kong jumps in, so they start, they're a little more on even ground, but then Mecha Godzilla starts getting the upper hand, right? Because the two of them together aren't strong enough, so this brings me to my other point that goes back to the whole stupid, the other thing with jump-starting Godzilla is they need the human's help by pouring the whiskey on there, which shorts Mechagodzilla out. So then Kong basically just destroys the destroys the Mechagodzilla. Well, it didn't short circuit him. It just stunned him. Well, yeah, it was like, uh, and then Kong just rips him to shreds, right? Well, here's the, here's my thing. There's there's certain uh, there's a human arrogance in the film, and I'm not talking about Simmons. The, the the blatantly Hispanic bad guy with a very, very white name. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about him. Um, <laughs> I like that actor, yeah. too. I like that no, actor. No, great, yeah. Like Damien B- Bashir? Yeah, D- D- yeah Damien Bashir. Um, but um, I'm going to be embarrassed if he's not Hispanic. <laughs> he's probably not, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's probably not now that I say um, that. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'll look, I'll look it up to tell you that you're wrong. I'm going to prove <laughs> you're you wrong. Thank so you. I'm going um, us, to keep us honest. Um, yes, thank you. I, oh, no, he is. He's he's from Mexico. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you did not want to get that wrong. No, you took a I big don't. chance. I could have edited it out. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> so I, the arrogance, the human arrogance is in the writing itself. It's like you want to yeah. have a movie where, you know, basically – Godzilla ends up needing Kong, but then you take that away by having him not really need Kong because the humans shorted him out. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, I was like, it should have really turned the tide when King Kong joined the battle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that should have been the turning point, not the humans doing anything. Because now you've you've taken what little that, like you said, with wrestling, where you're gonna you're gonna now you're gonna give Kong a chance to be powerful. You took that away from him. <laughs> you took it away from him. Yeah. Like, why did they do that? Oh, it's so aggravating. Right. It, which leads to them jump-starting Kong, too. It's like, well, now you have the humans. If it wasn't for humans, Kong would just be dead, basically. Yeah. yeah. Just be dead. Yeah. And if it wasn't for humans, Godzilla would be dead. Yeah. Which, when it comes to the point of the bad guys, which weren't really bad guys, now you wouldn't have any giant monsters, and you'd have Mecha Godzilla. Well, then again, he was taken over by King Ghidorah. Right. Yeah. But... <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, why? Like, well, we were, we none were, of it made <laughs> sense. We like, were talking about that in the car, but and hey, that is like... It's, it's there to say that alcohol is the solution. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, kids, when in, when, in, uh, when in doubt. Technically, alcohol is the solution. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it's like what we were talking about beforehand. It's like... Um, in, these, in these American versions of these right. movies, like... The, the sort of hu- the human sort of the hubris 
Yeah. Right? Doesn't it in, doesn't in get in the writing, yeah, not, in the, not the yeah. characters. No, right. In, in the, the writing. writing doesn't get punished. There's no receipt for right. our hubris. Right. Whereas if you look at like the the I mean, Japanese Hong the Kong Japanese got trashed, but <laughs> Yeah, but right. like yeah, the hu- yeah. humanity doesn't pay. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, um, an example I'd give is uh, Godzilla '84, where they the America the no the the Japanese uh, in the U.S. they stopped the nuke that right. was accidentally launched by the Soviets from hitting Japan, but in turn that accidentally woke up it Godzilla. It actually brings Godzilla back to life, yeah, because <laughs> he absorbs radiation. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like in these American versions of these movies, we're never going to learn because right. we're because there's no consequences <laughs> there's no to consequence. us messing with this right. sort of natural order of these fantastical world of right. giant monsters. Yeah, the only one that paid was the two guys themselves, the <laughs> pilot and the yeah. pilot and Simmons. Yeah, yeah. they're the only guys that paid. Yeah. Own Simmons. Yeah. yeah. So I I, th- I yeah, I mean there's definitely like there's there's definitely this sort of <laughs> writing where it's like, no, no, guys, we play a part. We do Be- something. Because they're like, good people even if they were hoodwinked by bad humans. Yeah. Because oh, they're yeah. good people, they're they're not gonna suffer. Yeah. No, they all need to suffer. That's the point. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. That's the point of messing with forces beyond your freaking control. Mm -hmm. Um, Did you have any more points before we start going into a little more positive? Positives? Uh, Let's get into positives. Just ready to go into positives? Sure, yeah. Yeah. All right. Who wants to start positives? Um, I only have like a few. I I got got a few positives, actually. Walter Simmons. I liked him as the cartoonish bad guy. Yeah, he was good. He was good. Like with his plan that resembles King Kong Escapes. Right. uh, He's Doctor Who. Yeah, he's He's Doctor Who. Who. Yeah. Yeah. He, like remi- he reminded me a lot of, um, I- what's his name from Wonder Woman 84? Um, Maxwell? Maxwell yeah. Lord, yeah. Not as charming. Yeah. But, pre- he, he, I- and also like a mix of him and the most interesting man in the world. Yeah, yeah. Just like kinda, fused yeah. together to make yeah. a person. Yeah. I-, I think he did a really good job of taking it, taking it just to the top and maybe a step over without just mm. making it pure goofiness. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was, he was good actually, yeah. I like the pacing of the movie. Well, to an extent, like... The Hollow Earth part is when it started to slow down a little, but once oh, really? once Mecha Godzilla was introduced, I'm like, okay, I'm in, I'm in. Like, because <laughs> okay, when I saw this in Galaxy Theaters, which has the reclining chairs, right? I was in two phases in the movie. This, and okay, and then me hunched over, looking at the edge screen, of your like, seat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I was hunched over for like most of the third act. I yeah, I thought the first 35, 40 minutes was a little like let's get to something. Yeah, I was alone in in the apartment watching. The movie, right? And as soon as they show Mega Godzilla, I, I I screamed pretty loudly. I was like, "Truckosaurus!" <laughs> he did look like Truckosaurus, to be honest. Yeah, he did look like Truckosaurus uh, yeah. with the Godzilla, the flat nose that legendary. Yeah. I was Godzilla I was has. surprised he didn't have him like breathe fire out of his <laughs> nose or something. Truckosaurus. He didn't pick up a sedan and crush <laughs> it with his teeth. Yeah. All right. What else um, you got? I like the idea that it's basically Ghidorah's pissed off brain controlling Mega Godzilla. Because yeah, because, I didn't mind that. I just didn't like how they just sort of were there. Yeah, yeah <laughs> because it works unlike Pacific Rim Uprising, where Pacific right. Rim Uprising had Obsidian Fury, which was a Jaeger that had Kaiju brain inside of it. Right, right. But it could have it could have been a remote controlled Jaeger, and nothing would have changed. Yeah, nothing mm-hmm. would have changed. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, I, I did like the whole King Ghidorah thing. It's yeah. just there was no lead, in. it was just like yeah. suddenly. Oh, matter well, of that, fact, that, that, um, it was like that, a, it, it was like a comic panel. Suddenly, yeah, the Mecha Ghidorah's brain just it, takes it over. It was like, just sort of uh, dropped on you, okay. right? Like in against <laughs> Mecha Here we go. in against Mecha Godzilla. I remember that right. there was there was like this notion of like something's going. Like the pilot was like something's up with this thing. Like it's yeah. it's almost kind of independent. There's a slow build, yeah. and then you're just like, oh, well, it's built on the bones of the first Godzilla, and it's it's regenerating. It's, right. thinking. it's thinking, right? There yeah. was that build up here. It's just like. Well, it's, it's Monster Zero's brain. He's just sitting in the skull, and then suddenly, boom. Ghidorah takes over. <laughs> L- like, right. like b- uh, what is her name? Madison. Madison, Madison yeah. Madison yeah, says, God. she goes, it's Monster Zero. And I think you're supposed to go, gasp. Yeah, except, It's Ghidorah. Yeah, like, it's Ghidorah. Yeah, yeah, like, okay, like, I know. I know yeah. what this is, because I have seen these mo- these <laughs> right. older movies. Right. If I didn't watch them just as a regular casual person, like I wouldn't know yeah, what's and, happening. And so few people, I mean, looking at the box office numbers of King of the Monsters, so few people saw that movie. How would they even know what it was? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, Get, who, whose skull is that? Who's <laughs> Get, who's Monster Zero? Who's Monster Zero? Who's Ghidorah? Who's Ghidorah? I gotta look this up. Pause the movie. <laughs> right. yeah. Pause the movie, Midge. I gotta see who Ghidorah is. <laughs> yeah. We're supposed to be talking about positives. Right, I'm sorry, right, right. but um. Yeah, I like that whole idea, especially since um, and how to bring up that Ghidorah's three heads were psychic. That's how they communicated with right. each other, and it was basically 
Apex trying to exploit that in order to control Mechagodzilla. And a little shout out to a friend of mine, uh, Josh Batts. He owns a channel called the Toho Society, and he extracts sound effects for nice. from movies to like for for fan films, animated nice. fan films. And like if you listen closely to Mechagodzilla's roar in King of the Mo- uh, not King of the Monsters in Godzilla's Kong. It's basically Ghidorah's roar. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Uh, oh, to, okay. Just like a mechanized version of it. I, it yeah. it I mean, I, it, it sounded familiar, but it did sound like yeah. they did obviously filter it. They're like, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. sound I'll have to watch mechanization again, or something like that. Yeah. Right. Okay. And I like Mechagodzilla's introduction. That was awesome. The way he just killed the skull crawler by slicing mm. him in half. Yeah, by ripping him in half. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. I mm. like his design a lot. Did you? See, I was, I was a little. A little hit or miss, yeah, but again, then again, Truckosaurus. Yeah, that's all I kept thinking. I don't mind the long arms and the uh, spinning. Hand yeah, that's thing classic. That goes, that's mm. classic Mechagodzilla hands right there. Mm. And um, yeah, like those it, spinning I, missiles. Like I like it a lot more than whatever the anime trilogy tried pulling with Mechagodzilla. Oh yeah. And I like it. Ugh. I like it more than Heisei Mechagodzilla. Ugh. Did which, you ever see those? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. I like it more than Heisei Mechagodzilla because I always thought that was a bland design. See, I don't mind he see Godzilla, uh, Mecha Godzilla. Um, he's not fantastic, but I, I like him, <laughs> especially when he's super Mecha Godzilla. Yeah. yeah, it's probably maybe on almost on the same league as the original, but I still think Kiryu is like the Kiryu definitive just... Mecha Godzilla design. He's amazing. Kiryu's beautiful. Amazing, yeah, yeah beautiful. Yep. I should have wore that shirt today. <laughs> Kiryu, yeah, Kiryu is just a beautiful, yeah. beautiful machine. Is that, is that is that your positives? Um, you know your positives in? I liked how. Like because of the pacing, and, and you mentioned it with how they just uh, dropped Me- Ghidorah's head, and like yeah, Ghidorah's here, and ta-da! <laughs> because Suddenly. of the pacing and all that, Ghidorah's in charge of our lives, of our days. <laughs> because of the pacing and all that, um, <laughs> there isn't any oh my weird or pretentious message like the last movie that goes against the, <laughs> the idea of the original That's movies. Fair. That's fair. Yeah. 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 Um. Oh, yeah, since I saw this in the theater, I like the soundtrack. Even though it doesn't have the Ifakube theme, Mechagodzilla's theme song, because at first you think the theme song is for Godzilla, because it plays whenever he's like, when, he, when he's about to fight Godzilla, I mean, when Godzilla's about to fight Kong on the, on the boats and all that. Yeah. And th- that theme plays whenever Godzilla's heading to an apex factor. Like, right. I just there, thought, wait a minute, this isn't Godzilla's theme. This is Mechagodzilla's theme song. Right. There is there is like a weird variation of it. Like, you do hear the same theme over right, as, right. He, as he appears, which is like, oh, hey, it's, it sounds a lot like, yeah. yeah and, it's, and the sound design, it's almost as good as 2014. So yeah, like, yeah, nothing mm. wrong with that. Yeah, um, because of how... Um, how uh, Nathan and his crew were basically hoodwinked by Apex. Oh, right. Okay, because here's the thing. I thought I was going to... Tarzan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was going to like that side of the story a lot and straight out dislike uh, Bernie's side of the story, but it turns out being the opposite because even with Madison and the uh, other kid, I still liked Bernie's side of the story investigating Apex way more than... Uh, like, oh, we gotta get Kong to get this resource. <laughs> yeah. Very King Kong escapes. He and King Kong yeah. lives for that matter. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? It, literally every action sequence. Like, every action sequence in the movie, it, it feels like the monsters are actually part of the set. Yes. Unlike mm-hmm. King would, of the, that was one unlike, of my big That was one of my positives, too. Unlike yeah. King of the Monsters, Where only yes. one building got destroyed right. in the fight between Godzilla and Ghidorah. In, instead of the monsters fighting in this weird sort of empty space... There was a real sense of place. There was a sense of scale. Yeah, that's one thing this movie did really well. Like, holy crap! <laughs> yeah, like that the, was really these, good. Yeah, the, the fight scenes felt, were just they violent. Felt yeah. huge. They felt yeah. huge. Like you don't just know that they're big. They felt like they were big. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, I did appreciate that. That was my biggest positive. Was the fights were really. Yeah, good. the fights were yeah action packed. A little lopsided, even though I am a Godzilla fan. But a little lopsided, but they're yeah. really good fights. <laughs> yeah, and I appreciate how Mecha Godzilla. Beats the crap out of Godzilla. It isn't one side. Well, oh, yeah. It is one side, but Mecha Godzilla just wrecks him. He's, he's wrecking him. Me- yeah, Godzilla wrecking does him. need his help. Yeah. Mm. Well, that was the. Yeah, well, I got into that. <laughs> he did need his help, but then it really didn't come down to his help. That <laughs> pissed me off. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, other positives? Uh, bu- 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 well, bu- there's yeah. color in this I, movie. Yeah, yeah, there's color so in this like, movie. Yeah. So, we, 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 the, the last, our last episode was. Um, Justice League. Justice League. <laughs> and man, those and were, his those palette, were his dull and washed out. Washed but at least palette, this one was yeah. pretty vibrant. It's a pretty yeah. vibrant movie. Adam so. Wingard does like neon. Yeah, I, you fine. know, I, I, I didn't, I didn't mind the Hollow Earth stuff 
with the exception of the temple. Like, I, it was weird. And, like, sure, it didn't make sense, but at least it was something different. And it was kind, sure. of, it was kind of pretty and unusual and just bizarre. I like that. Mm. Like, it's something different. That didn't bother me at all. And then, of course, I got to the temple. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah. I, my biggest positives were that sense of place, the sense of scale, mm-hmm. the fights being very animated and violent and yet still seeming like they were very huge. Yep. That was all good. And um, it didn't have an ugly Instagram filter covering it. it. Did not have an no ugly rain, Instagram filter. No rain, no snow, yeah. no smoke, no fog. <laughs> right. I think uh, also performance-wise, I think everyone was great. I, I don't, I don't want to blame any one of them. No, I don't for, blame them as actors. For, no, as actors yeah, for yeah. for this terrible writing. Right. I mean, that's always going to be your inclination, like, is to connect this to the to the faces of the movie, right? right. Like, yeah. but their performances were good. I don't have a problem with that. It, the writing was bad. I don't think this. I don't think this film will hurt. I don't know how it's going to end up doing, but I don't think it'll hurt anybody's career that was in it. Yeah, except I think may, the, the biggest maybe na- the Chandler guy. I think the but big- then again, he's never been really a movie. Or he's more of a TV guy. Right? Yeah, yeah. He was in Wolf of Wall Street. Um, oh, was he? he was, oh, that's right. He was the FBI or the Treasury he, guy, yeah, right? He was in the Peter Jackson Kong. He was. Uh, he was Anne's love interest. I forgot uh. the guy's name. Uh, yeah, I he think was, the biggest uh, name in this movie was Millie Bobby Brown. Right? Was Eleven. Probably that yeah. I can think of, I, like anybody. Oh, and uh, what Tarzan? Yeah, Tarzan. The guy yeah, plays Nathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, any other positives? <laughs> They're kind of thin. Uh, the uh, the else? little the little girl who talks to Kong reminded me a lot of the little girl from uh, the the movie, the Christmas movie. Which one is it with the devil? Pitch with pitch. Oh, Lupita. L- she reminded oh. me a lot of that little girl. Oh, adored. Lupita. The little girl. I don't want to be bad. I want to be good. Like, oh. Oh. Mm. Baby, the movie's baby. terrible, by the way. Yeah. But that little girl is adorable. No, the movie is not terrible. Oh, oh it's bad. It's, it's a bad, bad movie, but it's entertaining. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. But it's that little little Lupita, who's kind of, little I guess, Lupita. the closest you have to a protagonist, is adorable. She's adorable. Yeah. 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 This kid is adorable. Although, you although, movie, again, right? yeah. also. Not necessary, I feel like in this movie. <laughs> right. Like, which wh- I mean, she had her point, but I that was kind of well, I don't know, it was okay. We're getting back to negatives, I'm yeah. Gonna, I don't want to do no. that, right. but um, um, yeah, it was very Kong centric. I thought that was an odd choice, especially since poor Kong, yeah, just wanted to go home, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, which he really had no home, I think, at that point, but yeah, <laughs> he, had, he yeah. had no family, he had no home. It's like he was sad, he was, mm-hmm. he was Coco, Coco wanted to go home, yeah, Coco wanted yeah. to go home. Brian Tyree Henry, as the, the, the podcaster, um, that what's his awesome. name, uh, Bernie, Bernie, yeah. as Bar- he was great, he was good. I yeah. thought he played a part really well. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, again, I think that entire like storyline just, just was just so unnecessary. I think, I think it was really minimized, so mm-hmm. I think it never had a chance. But I'm not sure if it would have mattered. Yeah, yeah. because the pacing it kind of felt short. But like, well, yeah, like yeah. I, I'm I'm certain they cut out a huge chunk of whatever narrative I, that was going for. I was so glad this movie ran under two hours. <laughs> you have no idea how yeah. relieved I am when I watch a movie now. And I'm like, good, this movie's only two hours long. <laughs> Um, yeah. Ever since that Snyder cut, um, <laughs> Oof. yeah, this is long. I'm not gonna get those four hours back. <laughs> um, uh, I'm sorry. Positives, guys. Yeah. Positive, please, Tony. Yeah, positives. Tony, stay positive. Jeez, God. <laughs> um, I Kong looks great. Honestly, I think this. I'm so glad that he just <laughs> Peter. Oh, he's not a silverback. Peter Jackson's like... version of King Kong. Mm-hmm. It's I'm gonna v. I'm gonna just get one thing specific out. It's hard for me because I, I hate that movie. I know. But <laughs> hey, I know. Hey, buddy, it's hard on I all know. of us. Yeah, right. Hey, yeah, look. Um, hey, hey, parts. hey. There's nothing worse make, in this world make, than that version of Kong. Make, there yeah. is no bigger war crime make, yeah, make, in existence <laughs> of this world than the Peter making, Jackson King yeah, Kong. Making, so go ahead. Making Kong look like a gorilla you can go to a zoo to see. <laughs> yeah. I mean. This Kong is a giant monster gorilla. Yeah. I liked it. I loved it. He looks great. He still looks great. Well, yeah, yeah when he's in the make... hollow earth, he's, he's, he's on his yeah. floors, but most of the time he's like standing up. He stands up, up. yeah. He stands yeah, it's up. That's what makes Skull Island so good, too. Yeah. He's like, it's very, it's he a very great. foreign place. Like, you can't even imagine this right. place existing. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it just looks so different and prehistoric. And plus his yeah. introduction in Skull Island. 
Oh yeah. Oh my one god. One of the strongest yeah. introductions of any monster in thing, any movie. That's the thing. He just shows up. There's no lingering <laughs> just, to a fl- big reveal. Yeah. He's just they're, there. They're flying in helicopters yeah. and all of a sudden they're getting swatted out of the sky. Yeah. That was complete so opposite great. Of Godzilla yeah. 2014. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's all I got. Um, that's also all how, I got. Okay, let's do the oh, same thing with the, the, the bird League. bat creatures looked cool. They were cool looking. They were cool looking, yeah. They were Some of the monster of designs are, are... They reminded me of something. Was it D-Wars, the Korean film? Oh, yeah, I remember uh, that. They did look like you know, the D-War dragons. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But anyway... Uh, they were like chocobos that fell in acid. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's same thing for Justice League. Let's give it out of four stars. What would you guys give it? Four star, out, of, uh, out of four stars. Only four what stars. What did I give Justice League? I gave you it gave like, it a one. I gave it a we one. We actually gave it a two and a half. Can I... Here's my question, and I'm not saying I'm, this is what I'm going to give it. <laughs> Can, am I am I able to give a movie zero stars or negative stars? Is that a well, thing can, that I you, can do? You can you can give it zero stars. Okay, no, that's no, the lowest I can go. That's the lowest you can go. Okay, I just wanted to know where the bar was. I'm not going to give it zero stars. Zero that's to not, four. That's, zero star. That's the guy. Here's the thing. I I <laughs> zero though would be like it's not worth being a movie. Zero is like. I don't zero, think it's zero, that. Zero is like Monster of Go-Go, where, <laughs> you know what I mean? Where yeah, they yeah, fade yeah. to black and explain to you what happened because they have no budget for action. That's right. that's a zero. Like, it had no business being a movie. Sure. So this yeah. really shouldn't have a zero star. No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. Even, I was just, even, I was just, even a James Wan movie has, like, half stars. I was just yeah. wondering <laughs> where we were at in oh, terms yeah, yeah, of, yeah. like, when we do these movie reviews. Um, <laughs> out of four stars, what did I give Justice League? One star? One star. I should have given it less. Um... <laughs> I would say this movie. Wow, hard. I would say this. I should say harsh. this movie is a star and a half. Wow, well, it's better than Justice I, League. I will give it that half star over Justice League. Number one, because I mean, like in Justice a whole League, star over, what did you give? Oh, you gave Justice League one star. Yeah, it, just like Justice League, like the fights were cool. Yeah. Right. Um, but I think the pop of color and the the minus two hours of movie <laughs> really helped it out at that half star. <laughs> minus two hours of movie. Um. Yeah. So I, what do you go? What do you go? Well, I gotta also think about the movie's intent and its demographic. Okay, so hey. movie's demographic. Well, it's obviously dumbed down. It's meant for kids. But if you look at the uh, toys and if you fair. look at the Roblox co- uh, crossover that's going on right now, even I don't play Roblox. Right. <laughs> uh, I. What is a Roblox? <laughs> no, no, no. That's a. Yeah. I. <laughs> is that a whole other episode? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, go, go, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> I probably I, I probably like it as much as Godzilla Final Wars, because, so mm-hmm. it's probably three out of four stars. Because, yeah, the story is really dumbed down, but it didn't insult my intelligence like the last movie. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Before we go on, I'm King cu- of the Monsters was very insulting. I'm, I'm, <laughs> now I'm curious. That I movie, know. talk about a pompous movie! Wow. <laughs> I know this has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Right. This has no bearing on what we're talking about. But I'm curious. So now. three, huh? Out of four, yeah. st- out of four stars, what do you what do you give Final Wars? Three. Final Wars, I would give. Three mostly because of its entertainment value overall. Are we doing out of four, or out of five, out of four. Okay, I would give Final Wars a three just because it's so bad shit crazy. It's yeah. just a wacky. You would give it three stars. It was just a wacky. It's a three goofy. star movie. Oh, I, I can. I. I. I actually love and hate that movie, mm-hmm. but it is entertaining. Like, okay, I, I'll sit through the whole thing. It's so absurdly goofy and over the top and silly at times. Okay. And the monster fights are way too short, but it's entertaining. I can watch that movie it's from true. beginning to end. Dan Fry was great. Right. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I just I was curious, being that you guys are so, bigger Godzilla fans than I am. So, so. this movie, Kong mm. vs. Godzilla. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Keep in mind, you can give it zero stars. I gotta go like a hard two. A hard two. And only a two because of the fights. And if it wasn't for those fights, it would be a one. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So the fights I were... Just, it was just too much... There was too much narrative inconsistency. It mm-hmm. just offended sort of that wannabe writer in me where it was just like, yeah. what the hell? Which what? is why I'm surprised you gave this God, dang it. one half more star than I did. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, uh-huh. the title is Kong ver- or Godzilla vs. Kong, yeah. which means it's a mo- movie about monsters fighting each other. <laughs> sure. And that part was gold. Even though it was unma- it wasn't fair to give poor well, Kong, but I it was I feel like gold. I would have given it more stars if uh, that's all it was, or if there was much less human involvement. Look, here's what's going to happen. Because I think they did too much human stuff, and it, a lot of it was so thinly veiled, that it, and a lot of it made no sense, 
or was unnecessary. Yeah, well, yeah. So here's what's gonna happen. Anywhere, yeah. anywhere from tonight when I get home to the next few weeks, there's gonna be a cut showing all monster footage from Kong vs. Godzilla vs. Kong, and then I'm gonna save that in my YouTube. And every time I think I want to watch the movie, I'll just watch that. I don't know, 12 minutes or so, and I'll be happy. Yeah. Right. Done. I'm done. <laughs> Did you know what? I should give another half star for the the bonus scene. Did you guys see the bonus scene? No. At what? the end. No. Wait, what? There was like this bonus scene that's like cut out. So, do you remember the f- when they were fighting in Hong Kong? When they started fighting in Hong Kong? Right. Yeah. They, uh, it's like they're showing that, and then they they pan away, and like on top of the building is the science patrol, and he and the one guy becomes Ultraman. He's like, nope, and he flies away. Swatch, <laughs> and he flies away. Swatch. He's like, I will not be made a part of this. Swatch, <laughs> and he flies. You guys remember that? No, no, I do not. I wish it happened. <laughs> All right. That probably would have made it better. No, I, yeah. no, that did not happen. <laughs> no, it did not happen. Despite the picture I put on Facebook. Yeah. Did you see that where I had the little red circle? Well, it somebody jet, else yeah. did it, but then I did the zoom in where it's where it's, it's jet jaguar. No, it's uh, it's uh, oh yeah, it's jet jaguar. Yeah. And then actually a smaller picture I had of uh, Gamera mm. flying. <laughs> I will give I will give four stars to the scene with with Anguirus, uh-huh. <laughs> where he just looks at the camera and right, goes. Ah. Yeah. Before we before we get out of here, anything else? Any last thoughts, words, recommendations, plugs? Uh, well, given that this is most likely the end of the MonsterVerse, <laughs> I wouldn't mind <laughs> it continuing, but with just with Kong movies because mm-hmm. I like yeah, the, the I Kong like this movies have been better than yeah yeah. And um, um, if Godzilla ever does return to the multiverse, I mean, uh, into the MonsterVerse, right. they should just call him Gigantus. Just to get away with <laughs> any legal trouble with Toho. That would be great. I would love it if we, um, as a country, kidnapped uh, a Korean di- or a Japanese director <laughs> to redo a monster <laughs> movie uh, and see where that goes. Um, right. There's a whole story behind that one. Yep. Paul, Paul yeah. Gus- just look up Paul Gasari. Look yeah. up Paul Gasari. It's a great story. They should make a... Do they, do, is there a they movie about a, that? I, they should there make a should movie a about movie, yeah. that movie getting made. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. If, if a movie about the rats that destroy Dia Studios that's, yeah, that's could be made, one. they could make Paul Gasari the movie. The movie. The movie. The movie. The movie. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, I uh, recommendation. I have. Uh, I started watching because I have HBO Max right. to watch this kind of stuff. But there's also a lot of a lot of good stuff on there. There's a lot of the DC stuffs on there. Um, I started watching that Harley Quinn cartoon, which is yeah. you said you liked pretty. It. Yeah. It's pretty funny. I mean, you just got to take yourself out of the world of DC that you know. This is like a goofy, cartoonish it's version of skew, the DC universe. Skew, yeah. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. It's supposed to be a comedy. Not a serious yeah. right. sort Your of face cartoon. Is voiced by the right. guy who plays Mr. Nobody and Alan Tid Alan Tiddick. Yeah. T- I think T- Tudick. Tudick. Yeah. I always forget Alan Tudick. I think who also plays Clayface and he's great. Five years ago, or maybe a little less, I know I was repeatedly guilty for saying they just need to Toho just needs to be the only ones to make Godzilla movies. But since half time, we've had three anime Godzilla movies, and now I'm not so sure Toho should even make Godzilla movies. I'll get but we did that. get Shin Godzilla. Yeah, that was an amazing film. Yeah. I'll get into that in my recommendations. Right, not right. The, not the trilogy, but right, right. anime. Yeah, and then uh, Singular Points on right now, although it's Netflix Japan, which I am going to check out later. Yeah. Um, NEVPN.com. And, uh, <laughs> Which brings us to our sponsor, <laughs> NEVPN.com. Anyway, we got to get out of here. Um, yeah, did you have any? Uh, yeah, so, I think you had a last thing. Yeah, right? I had my recommendation is Godzilla Single Point. I used my yeah, VPN, and even though I couldn't understand what was going on, I was thoroughly entertained. Two episodes are up? Yep. Um, I'm going to have to check that out this weekend. Even though I didn't, don't expect any monster fights. It's mainly world building so far. Yeah, it's a series. Um, it feels a lot more like Ultra Q than Godzilla at the moment. Yeah, I love Ultra Q. Have you ever seen that show? No. It was kind of like, it was kind of like the Twilight Zone, but it had monsters and aliens in it. Oh, okay. And, and that some sounds of the, cool. And some of the stories are just weird. Mm. Yes. Like a kid gets turned into a change purse. It's freaking great. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Okay. Yeah, it's great. And like, there's tons of Easter eggs and homages to. Right. The, you were the, showing me that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, especially cool. with the, especially with the anime outro. 
Yeah, and there was a lot of characters from like all Godzilla movies, like just in the foreground and stuff. It was really cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was cool. That sounds cool. Nice little Easter eggs. Okay. Anyway, you can watch it too if you go to anyvpn.com. Use the code use the code Gega and get ten percent off your first purchase. Yeah, anyvpn.com. Good luck with that. All right. Anything else? Because we do got to get out of here. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's this, it. this show's running long. Yeah, go see it if you want to. Don't see it if you don't want to. You know, if you want monster fights, if you can, if you can stick through kind of the silliness and absurdity of the narrative, <laughs> hell, great monster fights. I'm way yeah. better than King of the Monsters. Way better than Godzilla 2014. Um, on par, but more of Skull Island fights. Yeah. Yeah. So good stuff. All right, okay. guys. Yeah. All right, yep. guys. We'll see you next week. Yep. Good night. Night. <laughs>